Oh my gosh, I can't believe we freaking found it. A wild water buffalo. That is actually one of the coolest things I've ever done in my entire life. Wow. That's here, water buffaloes are the most important animals of all. They plow the fields, that grow the food, that feed the families. Life wouldn't be possible without them. And so in more than one way, buffaloes are part of the working family. They have names, they have individual personalities, they are even sometimes talked about like children. But here, the water buffalo also remain semi-wild because these water buffalo only spend the first few years of their lives in the villages with people getting to know their owners and their jobs. But once they can fend for themselves, they're set out into the mountains alone for 11 of 12 months of the year, which essentially makes them 91% wild. Living in these mountain forests, grazing on whatever they choose above the clouds. And only once in a while did the people go to check up on their buffaloes. So today, I'm with my local friends, Pei and Lee, and we're going to find their buffaloes. Gorgeous. All right, look at that. We have the 360 camera, and we're going way up there to find a wild water buffalo, believe it or not. It's a three-hour hike to the top, really another wet, three to track the buffalo, an hour for rest and lunch, and an hour and a half down. We're spending the whole day here, hard hiking, even harder tracking, and with little rest. But with these views and a mission like this, it'll be worth it. Top five hardest hikes I've ever done. It's like 100 percent million percent incline. Not really. The trail. This is everywhere. I got a face full of this earlier. Almost there, I think. A little bit more. Woo! We really are like, on top of the world. This is absolutely incredible. over this crest, down on the other side, and hopefully the buffalo will be there because it'll be warmer there. They're trying to avoid this cold, so thinking like a buffalo here. And all of this grass right here has been eaten because they should be like this long, but it's really short. So uh, one day they go. See, as the poop gets old to fresh, that means we're getting closer to the buffalo. Here is the water buffalo's bathing hole. You can see its hooves leading right up to it. Then boom, bath time. Okay, these are like completely fresh tracks. Like less than 24 hours old. Wow, okay, we're getting closer. In forest mountains in the middle of nowhere. We found it. There. We bring it some salt as a treat because salt lakes are hard to come by in these mountains. But when I tried to touch the buffalo, it gave me a clear no. Hey buddy, what's uh, up? Uh, oh, what? <laughs> doesn't like me. <laughs> it's the buffalo. It doesn't know me, so it doesn't let me pet it. They're smart animals and recognize both their owners and names. And only when you satisfy both will they let you touch them making stealing a buffalo basically impossible. Nang. Who's that? Nang. Nang. That's its name, Nang. Sounds kind of similar to Nang. Owners recognize their buffalo just like any other pet, just like a dog or a cat in the West. And the buffaloes too know their people. Because even after learning its name, I was still not yet a buffalo whisperer. Now will you let me touch you? Huh? No, no, no. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, I did it. Oh. <laughs> nah. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Bye, buddy. The locals call these fields rice paddy ladders for how steep they are. Ladders that machines cannot climb, cannot plow, cannot cultivate. But the buffalo can. 
So without them, life would not be possible. But only for one month of the year are these buffaloes actually led back to their plowing fields to grow the crop for the entire year. And the locals do say that the buffaloes indeed miss their mountains after a month of plowing because it takes convincing, a little extra salt, and a lot of extra time to get the buffalo from the mountains to the villages. But the other way around is done without encouragement. So for the locals here, who have such a strong connection to the land, the food that it grows, the medicines that it produces, the animals that it nurtures, these buffalo are perhaps the best example of it all. making a friend. This buffalo likes me. This is how you get a buffalo to be your best friend. You just bring its favorite food and then it'll follow you everywhere. <laughs> See? Okay, I'll give it to you, bud. Look at that. Best friends with the buffalo. <laughs>